Junk and Poo over here in Poorville. Everybody's having a good day. Hey Don, your tire's low. Anyway, kind of cold up today. Not cold, cold. Maybe 40, maybe 35. Anyway, I'm gonna take a walk up here. Pretty wet out. Camper there, need to do something with that. Thought we'd show what we did yesterday. Gotta get these on a little bit leveler ground, but yeah, just out here messing around. First time I've been out here, it's still up in here. I guess that's a good thing. So these things, each one of these, well that weighed a thousand pounds from there to there. Then I added that top piece on it. Then I added that bottom plate on it and I, my claim is that bottom plate, I would say two, 250 pounds for that bottom plate. So that would just say 1200, that's probably Another hundred maybe, it's heavy. And then you got the beam that runs across here. So I think one one section of this, well that's a thousand, that's a thousand, say two, four. I, I'd say this at least fifteen hundred. Or no, at least uh twenty five hundred pounds. From that to that over to here so this is definitely overkill but that's what we want to do we want to be able to bring cars out here or this might make a nice uh, chicken coop or something get the rough on it Let's see what we got going here. Get under here and work on the starter. These can be moved in a little closer or out a little closer. I'm going to level it off. I just stuck this on there. Oh, it got new shocks in it, looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's got new shocks on it. I think I bent a dry shaft. I've got a big old dent. Can't see it. It's at the top right here. Got the fork in there and got it. Not that I plan on driving it. Maybe I'll beat around here if I can get it running, but so I'm going to get the motor started. If you stick your finger in there, it ain't burning oil. When it was running, or it'd have oil on your finger. It's got a little soot. It's pretty common, but not bad at all. Now these, I guess, actually have platinum like a converter. There's very little bit in there, but I think someday there'll be a market for these uh, things here. You guys know what they're called. I can't remember. There's another one over there. Them actually got a little bit of platinum in them, so I'm told. So what I'll do is I'll get a, a ladder out here and set it up there so I can just turn the key on on when I get around to starting this. And I'll get up into the 
the starter here. See if we can feed the wires. Probably just feed them down here and add uh, put a battery down here in the ground to rig it up where I can just crank it down here. But yeah, it's gonna serve the purpose. I made it a little longer. I was gonna make it where I could put two cars on here at once, so if I was really buying them up, basically what I was gonna do is buy them at, at scrapyard price and just get the gas and the converters and the aluminum rims and move the cars, get them in and out. So I basically get the stuff that I can maybe sell some stuff or whatever, but prices are so low right now, I don't know. I still got a little bit to do before I really want to start pushing for the cars and kind of, I'm not sure, I know even the converters I guess are down now. So that was a metal that was actually paying pretty good. To, so yeah, that, I can stand here. I can, I don't even have to duck it at all to walk underneath there. It's perfect for working on stuff. I'm going to come out here when I get around to it and got a few other things I need to get taken care of first, but level this out, take this car off leveled. I might even get it running before I, before I move this thing, but these are fine. They're not going to where they have absolutely no movement in them. Like I said, they weigh <laughs> 1,500 pounds a piece or whatever it is, so. And if I scrapped them, what's the guy going to get? 80, 90, 100 bucks out of all four of them now. You could cut them down and get a little bit more, make them into two foot or three foot, depending on where you take them. But anyway, that's my car rack. And that's probably about the biggest car you get nowadays. Wheel loader lifted it up there, no problem. The only problem, I need longer forks. I can go underneath there but I that serves a purpose for junkers now if you got something you just want to um, keep and you just want to get under the frame you can lift them probably without damaging the body if you can go all the way across so yeah I moved this stuff over here yesterday and I'm going to probably use that wire, I think I said that before. Got this stuff all on the computer. Like 80 some views, you can see how many people looked at it. I think it was like 80 some people looked at that, if I am mistaken. I had a couple of people wanting this. I had something I sold out here and they seen it in the picture. I told them it was pretty rough. Oh yeah, that's pretty rough. That's. I think this would be good for it. Maybe cut one end out and put your push mowers or something under it. Other than scrap, it's aluminum, but... I think I actually got a freezer there. I was wondering about that. I almost thought it might be a good time to get a freezer put in the house. Not sure. I think one of the... Yeah, I think that one was a freezer. That was a freebie, too, when I picked up some stuff. That's heavy. Go mud bogging out here. And it's a junction pool, taking my morning little walk over here in Portville. Had to come out and see if that fell off in the middle of the night. I knew it wasn't going nowhere. Yeah, they're 40 bucks a ton now over here. Can't make any money at it. I mean, you could still make money at it. It's just, is it worth your trouble? I would say gas, but gas is pretty cheap. We get the car off them, obviously. Yeah, just did a quick trip through Poorville. Hope everybody's having a good day. Go find a project. I'm thinking I'm going to go out and buy me a bunch of chickens and turkeys. And the world's getting crazy. I might have to become a farmer. The Junkin' Farming Fool. Thanks for stopping by. Goodbye now.